The shock is just hard to ignore. Everyone's first reaction is negative. Even our five-star hotel doesn't take away from the overwhelming sensations of our arrival day. Day zero was passed quietly and only around the hotel. After a day of rest and on a much better weather, we head out to discover Delhi for the first time. For all of us, India is an image out of books, movies, stories, and poems. The reality of today's India, however, is vastly different. Although we cannot stop wondering about the days without plastic trash or loud streets full of cars, this modern metropolitan has a lot for us to see, both new and a reminiscence of its amazing past. For me, India starts in the old Delhi. Nothing is more Indian than the Chandi Cha, and no better starting point than the Jama Mosque, the center of it all. So we head that way, taking the metro. Ali is my friend and the director of this series. I've known him for several decades, way too long. Mariam is my partner in crime. She is my better half. She's an astrologer and she's with us on the strip. Berke is a performer and a dancer. She loves to be in front of the camera, but not as herself. Melika is the director's assistant. She's here to burn her soul out with Indian food. And my name is Arya. I am producing this. Uh, guys, what am I producing? <laughs> Five of us, plus Jonathan, my friend from California, who will join us later in this trip, will travel northern India in the next 21 days in search of music, dances, rituals, and all the magic in between. This is the sequel to The Hair of Saffron and Salt, this time in India. We are taking a train going to Old Delhi. Uh, we're going to Jama Masjid or Masjid the Jama. Let's see what that brings. I'm not sure if it's our train, but we're just gonna get on it. Jahan Gate of the Jama Masjid or Masjid al Jame here in Old Delhi. Such an amazing place. We're still shocked from it all. And uh, look at that. Dargah Hazrat Sufi Sarmad Shahid. Hazrat Sufi Sarmad Shahid. It looks like there are tombs um, of religious figures. I don't know what that is, but we should definitely check it out later. Let's go. Guru 
fold. Yeah, thank you. Fold. Yeah, yeah, fold. It's like in far, same, same in Farsi. Right? No, definitely. But what, but, but, this, what does it represent? Like this, is it historic? These are protective protectors of the god. It's yeah. Gurdwara. You see Gurdwara, right? I see. Yeah. That's, that's a sixth temple. You see? It's a protector of the. So it was the original custom. Sorry. It was the original custom. Yes, yes. So oh, interesting. There, you can see, so those are all the customs of the Sikhs. And in Indian Army, the Sikhs are the most ferocious, very, very brave, very yes. brave. Wow. Right. Thank you for that. Thank Good you so that. much. Sovik. Sovik. Yeah, I'm nice from Kolkata. Kolkata. Yeah, right. we, we should go there, definitely. Where are you guys from? Uh, we're from Iran. Iran? Yes. All right, fantastic. All right. Nice you know, meeting you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. جمعه دهم شهر شوال سال A reminiscence of the Mughal era and the Islamic and Persian art. The Persian name of the mosque and the Persian calligraphic reliefs are the most interesting parts of the mosque for the group. But Ali takes an advantage of the perfect acoustic to announce the prayer. Khaja Mu'ineddin Cheshti's tomb is a tiny but holy site just on the outskirt of the Jama Mosque. It is one of many shrines of holy religious and Sufi figures of Islam in India. Ordu mural on a wall catches our eyes. The difference between the two major religions of India, separated by the infused tolerance, symbolized in the Indian flag by the color white, could not be more visible here at the Fatehpuri Mosque. We are yet to discover the Hindu side of India, but Muhammad Sohail reminds us of the roots of the simplifications of paganic rituals in Islam. The five-time repetitive prayer of Islam is more structured, organized, and more accessible to more people farthest from its center than the Hinduism. In Islam, all you need is your body and a direction to pray towards. We met Mohammed Suhail at the mosque's courtyard. He was helping us to find some local shopping when Ali asked him about the hanging talismans. It will be my pleasure if I would be able to answer you. If I would be answerable to you. T tell me about those talismans and uh, charms. Um, uh, as I'm not a Muslim scholar, but as far as I'm concerned, there are things like these were the graves before. These were the graves before for uh, like the people who were the ch in charge of this mosque. They used to be buried here. So they were the people who used to be buried here. Maybe they could be the helper of the Imam. They could be helper of someone like that. Or if you want to ask me some more questions, there are there is a main, uh, you know, where the symmetry, main symmetry is there from this mosque. The question is about those talismans and uh, piece of papers. Let me tell you, this about this, uh, I am not, uh, I'm, I mustn't 
admit that I'm right to answer about these questions because I'm not a Muslim scholar. But uh, as being a Muslim, I would say these things are prescribed by those people who are doing, you know, treatment from uh, the spiritual healings kind of thing. I, I, I'm not saying I'm in the favor or against it, but I'm just telling you these are talisman or whatever they are. In our language, we call it taweez or something like that. Yes, but it is taweez in it, Arabic. It, yeah, in Arabic it is, but it uh, it seems to be it is not permissible in Islam, but I'm not going for the sake of saying that yes or no, but I'm telling you what is the information. <laughs> In a similar twist, Buddhism takes from the complicated practice of Hinduism. As we will see in the next episode, the complexity of Hindu philosophy and mythology is both beautiful and mind-boggling. Our day came to an end walking towards the metro and singing Shahbaz Galandar. The song that we were humming all day. We were all awed when Ali pointed out the irony of eagles or Shahbaz flying over us the entire time. Lalu meri, lalu meri, patte rakhiyo baladi.